everybody, it's Merc007 here again and today we had our Taiwan board game design meet uh, with the Jig Gamers and the Taiwan designers introduced some of their wonderful games to us. Here are just a few of the ones that I picked up. This is what they are coming out with this year. So many, many awesome games. I think I tried quite a lot of these, maybe about half of these games. And so we have Black Sheep, White Sheep. I didn't get to try this one. And I don't think I got to try this one, but I had a look. There's Fish Fight, Battle Sheep. This is really cool. And I'll show you that in a second. Cat Box, really, really cute game. Uh, Dream Road, Dream Road. Walk on Fire, another fun game. Ninja Bowling, Be My Valentine, Castle Crush, Animals, Frightening, this one I saw, Ice Cream Combo, and Jungle Rumble. So these are just some of the games that they're showcasing, but I think they have maybe more than um, what is listed here. Oh yeah, here. So we also have Design Town as well. and. Guns and Steel. I got to play all of these games here and I picked up a couple of copies of each. Today's event was really fun. All the designers did a great job in uh, teaching us their games. A lot of the Taiwan designers were able to teach other games from the other Taiwan designers, which was fantastic. I really liked all the ones that I bought here. This one is really, really cool. It's a I don't know what you would call it, maybe a dexterity game. Really, really fun. We played it once and we wanted to play it again. I haven't seen something like this before. Maybe um, flowerful sort of kind of feel, but different. Um, yeah, so really, really fun. I like this one a lot. And this one, this is Smooks's game. This is called Battle Sheep. And it comes like this, and I believe there are 30 sheets in here. So um, it's, uh, it's a really, really fun two-player game. Um, if I have time, I will make a video of it. But you are rolling dice, and you have two options. So you roll the dice, and just say you rolled a two and a four, so you can either take this option, or two and a four down here and or you can take this option and they do various things so you are trying to eat the grass in the opponent's uh, field while trying to protect your own grass and the fun part is that there's a few fun spaces uh, this one is my favorite number three three if you roll two threes you get to switch the board around this way and now you are using this as your play area. I think I played Bartoship maybe twice today already and as you can see I bought three copies because I really liked it. These other games are all by Aza Chen and we have here Dog is a Cat. And this is really, really fun. Another dexterity game with his cute art. He does all the art himself. So he's the designer and the artist. Um, so definitely go support his games. This one is a cat flicking game. And you have four rounds and everybody competes in four different challenges. And whoever has the most points is the winner. So really, really cute and a good, good as a gift. Then we have little cat box light, okay, which is cat box, but the light version. How cute is this? Okay, and um, I got to play cat box, which was a lot of fun. And one of my favorites for the day is this box. Uh, they actually showcased two boxes. One was by Aza Chen and one, another one was by another designer with a similar style. So these boxes come with two games. 
So there's Lupin Cat and Negoemon. Okay, um, these two games are really, really fun. And um, as you can see, I bought two copies. So I, I will probably try to pick up another copy or so to send to my friends. And I love the artwork on this. Great job, Azachan. Fantastic artwork. And both the games are a lot of fun. But look how cool the box looks. And I got to play the game. They taught it to me in English. So I think I remember how to play the games. Uh, both of them were a lot of fun. Which one was my favorite? Hmm, I can't choose. They were both equally fun, so I had to buy this. And I bought another one to um, send to someone overseas and I think I will pick up some more. I might also pick up an another one tomorrow and I might send it to my brother and his family because um, they also like cats. So I'll see if I can pick up some more copies of this tomorrow. Yay, very cool. There are some more games I would like to buy from the Taiwan Board Game Design Group. And um, so this is not all of their games that I'm trying to pick up. Um, definitely a lot of fun. And we got to try Ninja Bowling. Played that twice. And oh, I tried Be My Valentine. That was quite funny too. And uh, lots of laughs with that one. And I saw lots of people playing Fish Fight. Last year, Design Town was the big thing. Maybe this year, I think Battleship might be the one to watch out for. This one, I, I recommend you keeping an eye out on this one. This is probably um, the one that is going to be the trending one, I presume. For This one is definitely my pick this game market out of their booths and I've also had a lot of requests from people to pick up this game and I'm very excited that Design Town is coming out with an expansion yay if you ever come to Japan when the Taiwan board game design group comes along come a couple of days beforehand and usually that Sunday before the game market we get to meet some of the designers and try out their games and uh, usually they will bring extra copies of their games and if you wanted to pick some up then you could. Thank you for watching this video and, and thank you to the Taiwan Board Game Design designers and publishers for coming to our JIG event as well as all our JIG members and um, other visitors from overseas. Thank you so much and see you at the Tokyo Game Market. Bye!